Martina, do you know next month will be 22 years since your dad died? I know, Mom. I have some news that may interest you. What's that? Draco's mom fences you. She wants you to meet him. Oh, Mom, stop. He's starting to be a doctor, Martina. Imagine that. Mom, he lives in the Ukraine. Who cares? He can take care of you. Don't you mean take care of you? <sighs> Drago is coming next week to the US. I told him you would meet him. No, Mom. What's wrong? Do you have a boyfriend? <sighs> next time you decide to pimp me out, let me know first. Why do I feel so shitty when I have everything? I'm making great money, I have a great job, but I'm missing something. What is it? I love teaching. I have my own place. I have a car. See you in my office. Yeah. Martina, the board is making cuts. First year teachers' contracts will not be renewed. However, you are encouraged to reapply. There is a possibility that your contract will be renewed depending on staff availability. Would you like a lollipop? Sorry I'm late. I'm so glad you're here for the worst day. What happened? I won't be teaching next year. What? Why not? They're letting go of all first-year teachers. I'm gonna have to move home. I can't live with my mother. Why not? She's crazy. I will go crazy. So, how's Luke? Yeah, it was definitely a red alert. Yeah, I made up this story about my father's health getting worse. Yeah, women are so gullible. Luke's dad's dying. He had to fly home. I don't like coming away. <laughs> what about Val? We live in a consumer culture. Companies use advertisers to sell their products. Advertisers sell products to people by creating fears and playing on their insecurities. We must buy. 
why to feel good. That's interesting. So, can I eat your ass now? Oh yeah, <laughs> the anal free. Why do you date these losers? I guess I have a weird taste for interesting guys. You have an interesting taste for weirdos. I like being in love. I need it. You know, I have a house and a car and a job. I'm ready for the next step. So what, you want to get married now? Yeah, if I meet the right guy. You know what? My friend Leo has a friend he can introduce you to. Leo the walking doormat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would a walking doormat have decent friends? You said she has clothes in her closet. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely no more room in her closet. So, did she ask you what I do for a living? Did you tell him what I look like? I hope you told the truth. That I work in a hockey arena? Yeah, I think that's what I told him. You think so? What the hell does that mean? I told you what to tell him that you're cute. You should have told him I was fat. You're not fat. Don't do this to yourself. Don't worry, man. I made you look good. You better, you bastard. So is he funny? Does she like banging, or is she a long-term relationship? Well, you can't bang in a long-term relationship. Is she a slut or not? Oh, well, you say he's a nice guy. Is he marriage material? I hope this date doesn't turn into another "Am I the perfect guy for marriage?" interview. Hi, I'm Zena. It's nice to meet you. It says here that your objective is to find a Playboy lookalike that will blow you six times a day. Interested in classical literature, rock and roll, and foreign films. Yeah, that's right. Under experience, you worked in a hockey arena for five years? What are you doing with your life? I don't know. It says here that you make less than $15,000. You can't support a wife on that salary. Look, whatever happened to dinner in a movie? <gasps> Tina, Martina, this is Tommaso. Oh, God. <laughs> he looks like a slacker. Nice to meet you. Oh, for fuck's sake. What about that? So, I hear you do administrative work. Oh god, here's a marriage interview. Fuck, I don't need to impress her. Um, what type of administrative work do you do? I work in a hockey arena. <laughs> do you like it? I get paid to watch hockey. If I made more money, it would be my dream job. Hmm. <laughs> so, do you have your own place or do you live with your parents? I'm Italian. What do you think? <laughs> so, I hear you want to be a filmmaker. Why is it that everyone our age suffers from fame-induced apathy? <laughs> I want to be a documentary filmmaker. And it has nothing to do with getting famous. Documentary films. Yeah, I heard there's real money in that. Tommaso is infatuated with Todd Salons. I swear he must have watched that rape scene in storytelling like a thousand times. Thanks, Leo. There's no better way to make a lasting impression than letting your dates know you might rape them after dinner. Uh -huh. I love storytelling. I watched it at least six times. Six times? 
A psychologist said that people who watch movies with a lot of sexual violence have sociopathic tendencies. I am not a sociopath. How many times have you watched it? Six times. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Me too.